All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and today we are going to be talking about what an OSNY valve is and what an OSNY supervisory switch is. So first off, this is something that is mainly, well not mainly, it is something on a sprinkler system for, uh, for a large building, a fire suppression system. An OSNY valve, OSNY stands for open stem, or not open, I keep on saying that, I'm so sorry, outside stem and yoke valve that means it's a it's an indicator that so if we're going to pretend that this is the valve and you see how this is like the handle so like say this would be the wheel like the crank wheel to actually open and close the valve if it was closed all the way you would see that there'd be no screw it would just be the wheel and then when you open up the valve to show that it was open the screw would begin to show until all this screw, which would be like inside the pipe, pushing the uh, gate closed, blocking the water, all the screw would be out and that means that the valve is open. So a couple places on the sprinkler system will have these, including the main supply shut off. So it's very important that you know if someone's screwing with your stuff and either a criminal act or like a maintenance guy is closing it and I don't know who's not supposed to, mainly it's to prevent stuff like criminal acts and to know if something is wrong and that your fire suppression system is out of service. So my demonstration today, this is nowhere near what an OSNY valve looks like, but it works on the same purpose. This is stuff I built with just scrap wood so that it doesn't look fantastic, but it serves the purpose that I need. So this is going to simulate, the way I have the switch hooked up, it's going to simulate a, close, a normally closed valve. This is something like a main drain. That the valve would be normally closed for the system to operate properly. And in a way that would put the system out of service, it would be open. So right now the valve is sitting in what would be its closed condition. Up top here, what would be like on the pipe, is a system sensor OSY2 supervisory switch. The way that this works is coming out of it, there's a wire, normally being conduit and way nicer than the way I have it, and that's going to go up into my panel. Again, this is nowhere near compliant of anything. This is just for demonstration purposes only. And what happens is when this, is when this, uh, switch is tripped, it will send a supervisory to the panel. I am just going to manually move the switch just so you can see. And see, now the panel is going into supervisory. In normal condition, it will not. So um, I'm going to open this up and you will see just what it looks like. Alright, so we are going to just open up the cover. So this is what the inside of the switch looks like. I have made a couple modifications to mine to be able to mount it properly. Not properly, but mount it to my thing. I had to drill a couple holes to add in a couple screws. So like normally there's not a screw there that goes down and then there's not a screw there at, at all. I had to just drill a couple holes in to actually be able to mount this onto the wood for my demonstration purpose. So the way that this works is that there's this spring here that's on this that's holding back this plastic bar. And as this plastic bar moves, it's pushing on the swing, on the spring. And see there's that red button there. That is what actually triggers the supervisory, as you can hear the panel is beeping. When the switches are pushed in, that is normal condition. When the switches are pushed out that is a supervisory condition so when they're pushed in that is a normally open circuit so that means that it, the circuit is not completed therefore everything is fine on the panel and as soon as the switch moves just a little bit in either direction the switches will open and then over here we have um, wiring terminals we have the common and then the in and out into the switch so I'm using common and B and that just goes straight out to the panel. So we're gonna put this back together and then we're actually gonna test it and you can see what it looks like and basically how it works. 
All right, so we got the switch back together. Um, panel is ready to go into supervisory. No alarms will sound. Um, I know I have the key switch set for supervisory to have the NAC sound. That is not going to be happening today. It will just go into supervisory, thus mocking what a real system would. So say that we're going to open up the valve. So the switch is resting on the valve stem. So we begin to open it. Normally it would have gone off, I think NFPA says two to three turns. Mine again isn't set up properly, so it takes a little bit longer. So it will trip. And there, the panel goes into supervisory. And if we come over to the panel, I'm sorry about the lighting, I had to change it so you could see the switch. It says OSNY tamper. That is my supervisory for the tamper switch. So OS and Y tamper. So that is saying that someone is actively moving the valve and it will continue to open until the valve is all the way open. We can silence the panel. So once the valve is all the way open you would see the corkscrew is all the way out. That is indicating that the valve is in the open position. And then you'd go until it stopped moving. So right now the valve is in the open position. And then to close it, you just begin to turn the valve. This would be going faster if it was an actual valve because it'd have the big crank wheel. So the valve is being closed right now. And then normally there's like a groove, kind of like this. I try to make a groove. There'd be a groove in the stem, and that is where the, uh, the uh, stem for the supervisory switch would sit in. But right now we're just using the uh, ridge here. So once it gets up and over that ridge, The panel will go back to system the normal saying that the valve is in its normal position. Now you can have these set to be either supervising a normally closed valve like this one or supervising a normally open valve which would be the opposite of this. Something like the water shut off to the whole sprinkler system. So yeah, uh, this is my system sensor OSY2 supervisory switch. I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching and as always should I test? Have a wonderful day.